The Turning Point by George Mueller George Mueller's conversion in November 1825 was dramatic, and his whole direction, purpose, and way of life changed immediately. He was introduced to the prayer meeting by his friend Beta, and upon arrival was greeted with, Come as often as you please, house and heart are open to you. This welcome touched George Mueller very much. The singing of hymns, study of the Bible, and reading of a printed sermon made a deep impression, and he felt this night he would find something for which he had been searching all his life. The genuine love, great joy, and deep humility in the hearts of the members of that group had a profound effect on George Mueller, but perhaps the turning point was when they all knelt to pray. He had never seen this before, let alone knelt to pray himself, and the whole meeting breathed such a spiritual atmosphere that he entered upon an entirely new experience. He was born again, no longer an idle and lazy character, but a disciple of the living God. Sometime later, George Mueller said about that evening, I understood something of the reason why the Lord Jesus died on the cross and suffered agonies in the Garden of Gethsemane. Even that thus, bearing the punishment due to us, we might not have to bear it ourselves. And therefore, apprehending in some measure the love of Jesus for my soul, I was constrained to love him in return. George Mueller continued his theological studies at Halle University, and within two months of his conversion to the Christian faith, decided to become a missionary. This decision angered his father so much that he withdrew his son's financial support, which left George Mueller dependent on God alone. 